Welcome back, boys and girls, to another edition of Joe No Stuff TV. I'm Joe Byron, a.k.a. Adobe Joe, and in tonight's episode, it's all about fraud. So stay tuned. All right, guys, we are going to sneak around my pond and see how many splashes we got. Probably won't be too many out today. It's kind of hot. They like to come out when it's moist. But let's see what we got when we walk around. There's one right there. Let's make him go under. He was a big one. Big bullfrog. Now, why am I so crazy about frogs? Well, I'm crazy about nature, period. I love to hike in nature there when a frog. Big splash. There went several. There went another one. So you can see, I've got, there's one popping up right over there. I've got several. Now, why do I have a lot of frogs? Like I say, I love nature. I love nature. I live in the middle of 90 acres that I own. And I've got a big creek on it. A, big, a bigger pond than this. And then these small frog ponds. And what's in the box? Priority mail. Tadpoles. This is a tadpole species that I've never introduced to my land. Uh, southern leopard frog. We're going to turn them loose in this pond. And the reason I put them in this pond is because this pond's a tadpole pond where this pond, every now and then I'll hook up a pump and create a waterfall right over there. Uh, I've got to clean it out because it's just now turning uh, summer. But uh, let's see what we got in the box. Okay, this is my first time ordering frogs in a year. I order them every year and I usually order a different species. I've been doing that since 19... Hey, they're alive. They're guaranteed live delivery. There's 25 of them. And it's a species I've never introduced here. Now, we got to acclimate them, as you do with any tropical fish. I'm going to definitely put them out of the sun. And we'll let them sit in here for 15 minutes. And back for the release. All right, let me do to the temperature. I'm going to take you on a short walk down in my front yard. Now, my yard's a mess right now. I'm in the middle of cleaning a bunch of stuff. We cleared this spot last year and we built this addition to my house, which is going to serve as an entertainment room, a diner, and a game room. As you can see, I live humbly in the country. And we're slowly clearing this land. You can see big brush piles down there. And over here that I've got to burn. We're going to have a party when we do it. I've got a big trout farm, catfish farm, or pond down there. And then we've got a stage here where we're going to put a top on it and close it three quarters of the way so we can have bands. I've had concerts here before, but it was all prior to 2014. I haven't had anything since. But we are in the middle of a massive renovation. And I can see my pump's not pumping as good as it should, so I'll clean it out. This is my pond, and then my little pond, and it's a big creek. It's a year-round running creek. I ride kayaks and rafts down it. This is a bridge I built back in 2010. And yes, the water gets up to right underneath the bridge. So you can see this creek floods. You can see sand right over there under the stage. And that's where the creek floods to. We've got rhododendrons fixing to go into bloom. I've got loads of uh, the uh, mountain laurel blooming. I'll scan down and do a close-up of the mountain laurel. I can see I've got tons of pollen on my pond. So we'll clean it off. All right, that'll give you a view of why I like frogs, because I like frog environments. Ponds like this one I built back in 2010. And yes, it has a liner. The reason it would wash out if it didn't have a liner, the creek floods to right there. So it would literally wash this whole side out. All right, I'm going to take a swing or take a view of these beautiful flowers. Mountain laurels are some of my favorite flowers. They're very detailed. Great for stunning close-up photography. I don't know how my GoPro is going to do here. I've got a close-up lens, but I don't have it. It's up at the studio. All right, that'll do this view of the bridge. 
and my I think stunning land I bought it back in 91 got a hell of a deal on it and I've been working on it ever since all by me lonesome the tadpoles acclimate for about 15 minutes. I'm just going to slowly release them. I'm going to let a little water seep in the bag first so the pH changes slowly. Just a little bit in the bag. You can see some of the muddy water leaving. There's, there's two of them released. Let's see if I can get a close-up. I'm not going to break out my DSLR. Let me go to linear. Okay, I'm on linear. I'm going to see if we can see the tadpoles get released. It certainly doesn't look like 25. But they are definitely there. I guess a lot of them scurried off. All right, stay tuned for a frog song. It's been raining here a lot. It's been raining here quite a bit. And when it rains, the frogs really sing. And my hot tub is just right there. Uh, so I lay in my hot tub and enjoy the frogs. The turtles don't sing much, but they're cool. So you can see I'm a reptile lover. All right, stay tuned for a frog song with a frog slideshow of photographs that I've taken of my many thousand frogs I have here on the property. Later.
All right, boys and girls, that'll do it for this edition of Joe No Stuff TV. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to smash that subscribe button, hit that like button, leave me a comment. Tell me how you love frog, because I sure do myself. And I will see you in the next one. Later.